Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Ever since I started sharing my nail art on Instagram, I've been requested to film nail art tutorials. And I'm not a professional. I haven't gone to nail tech school. I just, I'm just a person who likes painting on their nails. <laughs> I find it very relaxing. I usually just put on Netflix, a movie or a very long YouTube video and I just go at it. <laughs> but today I decided to do a nail art tutorial. I've been seeing these tortoise, tort, 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 tortoise, there we go, tortoise shell nail art recently but all the tutorials that I've found have been using gel which with gel you can easily create those layered effect I've been wanting to recreate this nail art for a while <laughs> so I just couldn't figure out how to replicate that look without using gels and having to cure them and everything but recently I found this nail ink set Thing on Wish. Other places advertise these inks as alcohol inks. I don't even know what the hell mine are, but they're definitely not alcohol because I've tried diffusing them with rubbing alcohol and it just doesn't disperse. So I don't know what my inks are, but I found them on Wish and I decided to try them out to see if I could achieve tortoise nails using those <laughs> those inks so if you're interested in the tutorial part spoiler alert I spilled one of those inks and um, yeah a lot of trial and error with nail art I've said it before on my Instagram but if you're interested in seeing how I achieved the tortoise effect just keep on watching this is my very first voiceover for a nail video I'm excited so I'm gonna get started by just prepping my nails with some base coat this one happens to be my favorite and now for the materials I chose two base colors and then two nail inks so I'm going to begin by just painting one coat of the base colors I chose a yellow and an orange because typically those are the colors that I see tortoise shell patterns on <laughs> I'm not being super technical, but I typically see that. So once the first layer is dry, I'm going to paint a second color before applying some matte top coat. With nail inks, I've noticed that they don't really stick on shiny nails. Uh, so it is a little bit time consuming, but applying a very thin but even layer of a matte top coat will make the nail inks adhere to the nail better. This is how your nails are going to look like once the top coat has completely dried. So my first attempt at creating the pattern was using a little makeup sponge, but I found that it was a little too sheer, so I dropped the sponge, I ignored them, and then started kind of freehanding the design with the brush. Be careful. <laughs> Make sure not to drop the nail inks because they're super liquidy and they get everywhere as you just saw. So grabbing the other nail ink, I used a brown and a black. I just started freehanding. And the good thing about tortoise shells is that they're not perfect. Um, not one pattern looks the same. So you can go wild and just lightly stamp on your nail, just creating something that resembles the tortoise shell and what i found to be the easiest way to get that multi-dimension is to do like a base coat of the design and then going over it so you're going to see those inks get a little bit darker get a little bit richer don't freak out if the ink disperses and gets a little bit wider that's totally normal and i think it kind of helps the design so one of the ways that I found that I was picking up enough of the nail ink was by making sure it wasn't completely saturated. That made it a lot easier for me to do the design and even on my non-dominant hand, it wasn't impossible. So now that we are done with the design, it's quite an easy one. I'm um, just gonna seal it all in with my favorite top coat. This one has a very shiny gel-like effect without, without it being gel. So I'm going to do not one coat, but two coats of this top coat. So my nails are super, super shiny. 
so that's it for this video i really hope you guys enjoyed my very first nail art tutorial <laughs> i'm a little bit nervous filming this just because i i wanted to be like perfect and educational but at the same time it was i was making mistakes so maybe that will be i don't know hashtag relatable content but i'm actually really really happy with the way they turned out i think they came out super neat and when you see them far away you're like what is that put them closer it's like oh oh it's like it looks like tortoise it's not perfect but at the same time the tortoise effect not one pattern resembles one another and uh, someone's watching netflix downstairs really loud so I'm gonna wrap things up really quickly. If you're brand new to this channel, please take the moment to subscribe to see brand new videos. And if you have any requests, let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching once again, and I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye!